Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a table of values to represent a relationship. So here's the story we've got. Amelia has $50 in savings, and then she decides she's going to save an additional $20 per week. Okay, so after n weeks, if you think how much has she got after n weeks, well she had $50 to start off with, and then you could multiply $20 by however many weeks it was. So if it was like 8 weeks, you could do 20 times 8 is 160, and then add that to 50. Okay, so this relationship, 50 plus 20 times n, that represents how many dollars she has saved. So this question is asking us to represent this relationship in a table. So the first thing we want to do in our table is write titles. Um, so in this case, because we have um, a little bit of the context, we know some of the story, we should include that in the table. If you don't, you could just write the words input and output. But let's do it like this. Um, so the first thing we're going to put in our left column here is n. So this is the number of weeks. So we'll write number of weeks. And then I'll also write that that's n. And then what we want to compare that to is how much she has saved. So let's call that her total savings. And then, uh, just to be extra good here, I'm going to write that it's in dollars. And we'll write the expression, so 50 plus 20 times n. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so here, uh, I'm just going to make a note here. You don't, If you have table, uh, titles like this, you don't need to write this down. But if you don't, um, then our n is the input. And the other expression is the output. We've got like a little input-output table. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll choose some values for n. Um, and if you knew more about the story, if you knew that you'd been doing this for 20 years or something, you would choose different numbers. If you don't really know much, you choose some numbers that are reasonable. So maybe let's make, let's just choose one week, two weeks, three weeks. One, two, three, and four. Um, you can choose any numbers you want here. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to substitute our value of n um, into the expression, and we'll see what we come out with for the total savings. So we'll start here. If n equals 1, I'll do the top row here. What I want to know is what is 50 plus 20n, okay? Um, so I'll put another link to the video, a link to the other video about substituting in case this is tricky for you. Um, but this would be 50 plus 20 times 1. And we'll follow the order of operations here. We're going to do this multiplication first, so that's just 20. But I need to write 50 plus 20. And that gives us 70. So after one week, she has $70. Uh, let's say next, I'll go over here maybe, if n equals 2, again we want 50 plus 20n, so that's 50 plus 20 times 2. The next ones here I'm going to do a little quicker. Um, so that would be $90. So if n equals 3, then 50 plus 20n is 50 plus 20 times 3. So that's 50 plus 60, and that's 110. And if n equals 4, then we'll substitute into 50 plus 20n, we'll substitute n equals 4. So 50 plus 80, which is 130. I suspect that most people will take a bit longer than that to do that, but I've got a lot of years of practice. Um, so once you've got your table made up, you should really go through and just check for patterns to help you find any little mistakes you might have made. Uh, if you have sort of a linear um, expression, but if you can kind of think of it maybe as just a kind of straightforward, reasonably easy, like understandable expression, if your input is going up by the same amount every time, this is plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, then your output will do the same thing, or it might go down. So 70 plus what is 90? So that's plus 20, 
and then plus 20, and then plus 20 again. So this is a good sign, and if we go back to the problem, it makes sense because she's saving $20 a week. So every time another week goes by, she's got 20 more dollars. So you should always just go back and look for patterns in your table. Because sometimes you'll see, oh yes, plus 20, plus 20, and then you'll have one spot that just goes plus 10, and you think, oh. And then if that happens, just double check the value, um, whichever value seems a little bit off, just to make sure that you did your calculations right. Okay, um, so to make a table, write titles, that's super important. Put the input on the left, choose values for your input, and then substitute those values into your expression to find the values for the output and then double check with patterns. Okay, good luck.